It's so nice of you to join us because we are getting around to start to talk about the zero index. We're talking about uh, indices or algebraic indices. And the zero index, what does that mean? That is if I have a base, let's say X, and the index is zero. And what does that equal to? Now I'm gonna say that equals to one. And the book usually presents that in a way as if that is something you have to remember. But I'd like to say again that in maths, you hardly have to remember anything. If you understand what you're doing, you don't have to remember a lot. So I'm gonna show you why to the power zero equals one. Because actually everything to the power zero equals one. So if you like y to the power zero equals one. Five to the power zero equals one, indeed. And what about 1,279 to the power zero? How much does that equal to? One. And again, that is not something you have to remember. Have a look at the following question. If I would ask you, what is eight divided by eight? What is eight divided by eight? And all of you answer, well, yeah, that is one. That is easy. What has that, that got to do with the zero index? Okay, now I'm gonna rewrite the question eight divided by eight in index notation, yeah? So eight is the same as two to the power three divided by, so two to the power three. Yeah, we realize that two to the power three, that is eight, that's not six. No, it's two times two times two. Yeah? So two times two, four times two, eight. So eight divided by eight in index notation is two to the power three divided by two to the power three. And if I would now apply the second law of the indices, and we are familiar with those laws now, which says that when you're dividing and the bases are the same, yeah, then you subtract those indices. Yeah? So three minus three is zero. So the second law of the indices says, well, two to the power three divided by two to the power three equals two to the power zero. Yeah, one, because eight divided by eight is one. So we've just seen that anything to the power, or two to the power zero anyway, equals to one. Now let's have a look at an algebraic example. So, uh, well, let's say x to the power zero. So we know that is one, that's something we have to remember. Yes, but really, do we have to remember it? Let's look at x to the power four divided by x to the power four. What is the answer to this question? Well, any number divided by itself is one. Yeah, 17 divided by itself equals one. 55 divided by itself equals one. So x to the power four divided by x to the power four equals one. Because if I would write that out, so x times x times x times x, that's x to the power four, divided by x times x times x times x, yeah. Now, what are the common factors? Common factor, common factor, common factor, common factor. So what is left? Don't say zero, no. The coefficient, you don't see it, but the coefficient is one. Equals one. Equals, second law of the indices, four minus four, the base is the same. So x to the power of zero equals one. Everything to the power of zero equals one. Okay, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna dedicate one more video to this with just some example questions, and I'm sure you'll do fine to the power of zero equals one. I'll see you there.